remember the time that you said no thank you. If you ever went to a church service, you'll remember every time you heard the gospel and you were looking at your watch saying, when, when are we going to go eat? You'll be thinking about every single time that you had a chance and you chose to have sex outside of marriage. You chose to be a drunkard. You chose to be a pot smoker. You said, not right now. Maybe when I get 80 years old, I'll surrender to Jesus. Everybody thinks they have tomorrow. And everybody likes to laugh and mock, but you won't be mocking when angels are taking you from the judgment throne of God. You won't be laughing whenever God says to many, depart from me, I don't know you. But today is the day of salvation. If you'll hear his voice today, you can be saved. God is not willing that you would perish, but he loves you. I don't care if you're a rapist, a murderer, I don't care what's in your past today. If you'll repent, you can be cleansed. Some of you are liars, you're in pornography. Some of you are in gambling. You need to repent. Don't let that claim your soul forever. Some of you are holding on to bitterness and grudges and hatred towards someone in your family. You need to repent. You don't, re you don't forgive people, then God can't forgive you. You see, the gospel is true today. And God is extending mercy to you even again. You can't flaunt sin in the face of God. When homosexuality, transgenderism runs rampant and confusion is in our streets, God is not going to be mocked. There was a place called Sodom and Gomorrah that was destroyed. But God wants to save and deliver. Let me tell you, judgment is always going to come upon sin. God is holy. And God will bring a just judgment. You don't have to worry. There's no election fraud with God. There's no problems with inconsistencies he's going to judge you according to his word if you're in pornography if you're a liar if you're a gossiper if you're a drunkard you like to drink alcohol if you like to um, do sin God's going to judge you and all sinners the Bible says shall get a just judgment would you like to have mercy today that's the question would you like to know that Jesus can cleanse you he can cleanse you of a defiled conscience he can he can take away the guilt some of you blame yourself for things in your past because sin is destructive, it hurts people. But let me tell you, God can heal and God can forgive. But if you choose to hold on to your sin, you're choosing to reject the hand of mercy that's extended to you today. Jesus' blood is powerful. Jesus' blood can cleanse. That's the only thing the devil is afraid of. The devil isn't afraid of your therapist. The devil isn't afraid of all your tricks. If today you're in the honky-tonks, today loving country music, you're lost. You don't know God. You have a profession. You have the idea in your head, but your heart is far away. You see, it's always a condition of the heart. Where is your heart today? Is your heart black with sin? Do you have profanity on your lips today? Do you like to tell dirty jokes? Those things are coming forth from your heart. Your heart is producing a fountain of filth. But Jesus comes to cleanse the darkened heart. Jesus comes to make people holy. Jesus comes to give you a mouth that produces righteousness and things that edify. But today, you love sin. Today, you love a modesty. Today, you love to have sex outside of marriage. The Bible says marriage is honorable and all, and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. Is that you today? The judgment cloud is lingering literally over you. If today was your last day, your life is hanging by a silver cord, the Bible says. A card goes across the yellow line today. If today your heart would stop beating, if you have a brain hemorrhage, if you have some condition and you die today, you would die lost without God forever. The Bible speaks of hell as a place of the damned. There's many roads that lead to hell, but there's not one road that leads out. And this area right here is the broad path that leads to hell. It's lined with pleasures of the flesh, with the sins of Egypt, with the delights of the world and carnality and ungodliness. This is the path that you are on today. If you are down here to have fun, Sunday, fun day. No, Sunday is called the Lord's Day. And I'm here to have church. Maybe there might be someone that wants to be saved. I'll have church with you. But today your temple is the temple of the devil is the temple of sin and unrighteousness. Would you like to come out from among the judgment that is coming? Would you like to be saved today? Would you like to be redeemed and have your sins covered by the blood you can?
If you need help today, you need help in your body, you need to be healed, God can heal you today. God can set you free today. Choose you this day who you're going to serve. Come out from among the world and be separate, saith the Lord. Today is the day of salvation. If you wait till tomorrow, you might not have another opportunity. Today is the day of salvation. Would you like to be saved and know Jesus as your Lord and Savior today? Time is running out. The Bible says, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. If you're a Catholic today, you're lost. If you're in Islam, you're lost. If you're in Buddhism, you're lost. Because Jesus is the only way. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father but by me. You see, with Christianity, the Bible says, that the wages of sin is death. You see, there's going to be a payday every day. Everybody looks forward to a Friday when you receive a payment for what you did on a job. There's going to be a payday one day for all the sin that's done in this world. God's going to address all that. There's going to be a wage that's earned. You don't want the wages of sin and death. You don't want to go to hell eternal. When God can pardon you today of your love of country music, He can forgive you of your love of unrighteousness. He can forgive you of being a blasphemer, an idolater, loving sports. He can forgive you of, of cheating on your wife. He can forgive you of looking at pornography. He can forgive you of lying about someone at work. He can forgive you of smoking and destroying your body. God can do that. Jesus can legally pardon you and set you free if you believe on His blood today and have faith. God gives every person a measure of faith today. Some of you have the faith to believe there are aliens and UFOs. Some of you have the faith to believe in Bigfoot, but you don't believe the Word of God. You believe everything the National Enquirer says, every media organization, but you laugh at the Word of God. You won't laugh at the Word of God at judgment. You won't laugh when you made a covering of lies and deceit. You won't laugh when you realize that everything in the Bible really was true. It was really that simple. That Jesus says, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. That if you look to Jesus Christ, He can set you free. He can deliver you. You don't have to be a drunkard. You don't have to be a pot smoker. You don't have to be a porn addict. You don't have to be a chain smoker. You don't have to be someone that watches rated R movies, filling your life up with corruptness. You don't have to be someone that's a liar and a cheat just to make a sale or just to do your job, lie on your taxes. You don't have to be someone that is sold out to money. The Bible says, for the love of money is the root of all evil. That's what many of you have sold your souls for money. Money won't make you happy. Money won't fix your problems. Money won't give you peace. Money won't give you joy. Whatever your need is today, Jesus Christ is your answer. Jesus Christ can help you. If today you hear the voice of the Lord, you hear the Word of God, let your heart be melted, let your heart be tender, let your heart be receptive to the truth today that can set you free. Some of you might want to go to church and you're out on a job right now. Fortunately, many churches are closed. Many people are hypocrites and don't believe the Word of God to me. But today, God cares about you, and God has a word for you today. Maintain your faithful way and trust in the Lord. And be faithful until the end, and you shall receive a crown of life that the Lord has promised to them that love Him. Go and get manna daily, and, and feast with the Lord Jesus. And sow to righteousness, and you will reap eternal life. Walk in His faithful path, and God will keep you in His right way. Listen to me today. Many of you are ungodly sinners that are walking on a path of destruction. The Bible says wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. Time is running out. The Bible says that God is not in all the thoughts of the wicked. God can set free from the bondages of the devil. God can set free from his chains of darkness. And God can deliver by the power of his word. You see, God, God rules and reigns in the affairs of men. Some of you look to a politician 
to be the answer. Trump is not the answer. No president's the answer. This world is going to be destroyed. There's a one world government that's coming whether you like to admit it or not. And today many of you are blinded to see the fact that there is going to be an antichrist come to power and people are being set to take the mark of the beast. People are being set to take the mark of the beast that like country music. People are being set to take the mark of the beast that love the NFL and NBA and all the idols of the world. People are being set to the devil's camp that love their life, that love themselves more than they love Christ. Today, what do you love today? You're always going to talk about what you love. Any father, any mother loves to talk about their children because why? They love them. The reason why you love to talk about country music is because you love it. The reason why you like to talk about...